everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a products I purchased and used up and I'm going to review now <laughs> videos. So I have a lot of lashes, a lot of makeup products, which is kind of weird because you don't really go through makeup that quickly as you do through like body stuff and skincare I feel. So this is going to be kind of a fun one I think and I tried kind of switching up my background a little bit so it's not the same as it is for my tutorials. So hopefully yeah, it's nice, I don't know. Um, yeah, I didn't want to say anything else. I always forget, like these intros, those, they just get me like totally out of my zone and I forget what I wanted to say, but anyways. Um, yeah, if you're interested to see what I used up and whether the products are good or not, then just keep watching the video. Alright, so the first thing, the biggest thing inside of this is actually a body lotion and this is the Garnier Body, body Repair Anti-Dryness Restoring Lotion and it has a maple syrup symbol, symbol well, I hate it when people like put like Norwegian formula and something and then you look in the back and it's like made in Pol Poland. Yeah, this is made in Poland, but it's Canadian formula. Yeah, interesting. Anyways, I really, 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 really like this because it's super nourishing and my skin has been really, really dry. How many times can I say really in a video? Probably too many. Um, this thing in the back, my radiator, it really, it either doesn't work at all or it's like super, super hot. So during the night, because my bed is obviously right here, my face is very close to it, I can feel it like sucking out the hydration out of my skin and it's just my skin has been terrible. But I really think this has kept it kind of under control. I will drench myself in this before I go to bed because I know this radiator is gonna like screw my skin up. So this has been just really really helping me a lot and I gotta stop saying really. Oh, so annoying. Um, another thing I used up which is kind of random, I think it's really really random, it's the Mitchum Advanced Control Power Fresh uh, Deodorant. I actually heard about this on YouTube from Fleur de Four. she raves about this and I gotta say it's a really nice smelling one. Um, I am usually, you know, with deodorants I'm just, I don't like it to be super overpowering because I feel like deodorants have a very distinct scent, you can always tell is it a perfume or a deodorant on someone, but this one really does smell very nice and I liked it and yeah, I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't really have problems with, you know, sweat, but uh, yeah, I didn't have any additional or problems occurring from this one and it's not super drying which sometimes I get irritations from deodorants but this one didn't do that so that's awesome and if you're interested in this you can find it, sorry that's my phone, you can actually find it at Boots or Superdrugs so yeah. Next I actually have a moisturizer for my skin, this is from L'Oreal, this is the Triple Active Sensitive Comforting Daily Relief Moisturizer. As you can see, this is completely empty. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I did like it because it did make my skin super hydrated. It totally fixed the problem of my skin being super flaky and horrible. However, I feel it might have broken my skin out a little bit. Just I can always tell if my skin is breaking out due to hormones or the weather or something, it is always, you know, kind of red patches and that kind of breakouts but if it's from a product I always get like whiteheads and blackheads and when I would apply a little bit more product of this one if I would just apply a bit of a more thick layer my skin would always the next morning like have a little bit of whiteheads around my nose and on my chin and stuff so I do think even though it's really nice for hydration I think I probably will not repurchase it just because it did break me out and it's the most horrible thing when you have acne and when you um, have super dry skin because it's very hard to find a product that is not gonna break you out but still give you enough hydration that just sucks it really does um all right next i have a lot of lashes now i finally used up two pairs my last two pairs of lamink um, i was kind of a hoarder when it comes to these um i was working with lamink these lashes are just so freaking awesome they're the best quality lashes ever and the packaging is super nice and pink I swear, I had some of these pairs from last September and I just finished wearing them. Like, literally. These do not get, go to waste. They are mink lashes, so they're not, you know, your Dell or Kiss lashes. They're super inexpensive, but they're not overpriced at all. Plus, they do like free worldwide shipping, which is awesome. And yes, so I used two pairs up Mystery Autumn and Sunset, I believe. Mystery Autumn and was it Sunset? No, it's Pearl. Pearl. I used sunset, sunset, uh, sunset up before. 
but yes I think I got like probably a hundred use out of each and every pair of these I had and they're just amazing and I miss them and I want to order more which I probably will but I ordered some new ones from Amazon so I'm probably gonna be good with lashes for a while but next time I'll be buying lashes I'm going back to Lumine for sure they're just nothing compares to them. I'm pretty sure these Amazon ones are gonna probably annoy me after two wears and I'll go back and order some more from Lumink. So yes, I just, okay, anyway, I really like those. <laughs> then I also have something that I discovered that I never actually used just because it seemed like a lot of hassle. Um, this, these are the Eilor, uh Pro Lash Shorts and Medium Lashes. These are the individual lashes. These are super inexpensive. I think they're about three pounds at Superdrug and they always have like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off. Um, I didn't use this one completely, I still have some short left, but I'm probably not gonna honestly use them just because they're really really short. They're good for adding a bit of thickness, but I usually like to mix them up, you know, have a bit of length in the medium ones and then the thickness in the short ones, so I don't know, I'll probably just pop these on on the other corners in the next few days, but I really did like individual lashes because they look super natural and uh, they're not too problematic to apply. I mean, it does take a bit more time, you know, if you have really nice mink lashes, you just pop them on and you're done. These do take a bit more time, but they also look really natural, so I do really like them. If I'm going to the, you know, not natural hair lashes, I would prefer individuals, but if I do have a nice mink pair of lashes, I'll probably go for that. So um, yes, these were nice and I probably will repurchase them just because they're nice to have around and they give a nice effect. So that's good. And then for makeup, I used up my um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Mascara. This is just a little sample. I really, really love these samples. I actually purchased a full size, I don't know how many months ago um, at the airport. And when I opened it up, it was dry and clumpy and I kept using it because I thought oh no you know it's probably something it'll be fine no it was just over dried and it sucks but the little ones this is my second little sample I have from it I don't even know where I got these from probably also at the airport or something um, but yeah these are just fantastic and I really like them and they just give a lot of body and volume to the lashes so that was nice um, I also used up my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Waterproof Mascara. I love this one. I prefer, I have the non-waterproof version of my lashes right now. I think they look really, really perky and big, which I like my lashes to look like that. And this was nice. It was very wa waterproof. Um, I think I got these, this one at the summertime and I haven't used it honestly for a while. So it's totally, totally uh, dry and crumbly, but yeah, I love the brush on this one just because it really separates the lashes and you can really build it up So that's a really good one. I love L'Oreal mascaras I don't think I have found one single mascara from L'Oreal that I didn't like so that's big um, And then finally I used up my brow artist plumper from L'Oreal This thing lasts for a long long time But as you can see it started gooping up at the end of it and it just started looking gross this was in the transparent shade. I actually just repurchased a new one today in a colored version. And honestly, I don't really see a massive difference. I mean, it looks nice. They both do. So yeah, this is a great product. This is my favorite kind of brow gel that I like to use. So yes, that actually concludes the empties products. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer because that way you won't miss any of my videos. And I will talk to you guys super soon in my next video. I love you. Bye.